All right, Al, thank you. On Close Up This Morning, what should we have known before September 11th? A devastating congressional report out today takes a critical look at how the U.S. intelligence community operated before the attacks on America. NBC's Lisa Myers has more on that. Lisa, good morning. Good morning, Matt. The congressional report does not directly blame intelligence agencies for failing to stop 9-11, but concludes that the agencies were still fighting the last war against the former Soviet Union rather than preparing for the next one. Okay, we're holding them. We got them. The report says intelligence agencies disregarded repeated warnings and failed to concentrate money and resources on watching and getting inside the world's most dangerous terrorist groups. A new revelation. Exactly three years before 9-11, CIA Director George Tenet and other senior intelligence managers met and warned that without sweeping changes in how the country collects and analyzes and produces intelligence, there is likely to be a, quote, catastrophic systemic intelligence failure. The date of that meeting? September 11th, 1998. Yet the report charges that key agencies, the CIA, NSA, and FBI, diverted money meant to beef up collection and analysis to feed growing headquarters bureaucracies, thereby increasing the risk of an undetected danger. The report specifically faults the National Security Agency, which monitors tens of millions of bits of information a day, for not having enough analysts to make sense of the needles in a haystack and not making counterterrorism a priority. Still, some involved in a separate congressional investigation of 9-11 say criticism is fair, but only to a point. Mistakes were made, things could have been done differently, but no one piece of evidence or a single action that could have prevented the tragedy that we experienced. Now, in response, intelligence officials point out that Congress was involved in minute details of intelligence budgets and priorities, and therefore should share in any blame for failing to focus on the terrorist threat. Matt. All right, Lisa. Lisa Myers in Washington this morning. Thanks very much. Representative Saxby Chambliss, Republican of Georgia, is chairman of the House Intelligence Subcommittee. Representative Jane Harmon, Democrat of California, is ranking minority member. Good morning to both of you. Morning. Good morning, Matt. Representative Chambliss, let me start with you. Six months looking into this, what's the headline in your opinion? Well, the headline is that it was an intelligence failure, Matt, but the fact of the matter is that uh, Lisa's exactly right. Congress has a, a share in the blame because of uh, resources that were committed to intelligence, but there were some critical management decisions made in allocating resources that, uh, that were made on the part of our intelligence gathering agencies that probably participated in not allowing the dots to be connected. Representative Harmon, I want to talk about this meeting that was held on September 11th, 1998. George Tenet and other top intelligence officials were there. They mm -hmm. issued a report. Basically, that report said sweeping changes were needed. In your investigation, did you find that any changes were made? We found many changes, but let me say I served on the National Commission on Terrorism. Lots of groups, both inside and outside of government, were warning that changes had to be made. These agencies are huge, and changing their systems is hard, but there are very good people working there with inadequate tools. We're finding now that changes are being made. Many more resources are being put against uh, the, counter, the, the terrorist target. That's a huge deal. The CIA is hiring more human spies and getting more funds to the field offices. Uh, they're beginning to work on changes in language training, but they're way behind on that one. Information sharing is much better. Uh, we can see that across the government, but there remain huge gaps, and our focus is on preventing the next 9-11, learning from the last one and preventing the next one. Well, before I look to the future, Representative Chambliss, let me go back to another thing that you found in your investigation. The day before the attacks of the 11th, September 10th, the NSA intercepted a, a couple of conversations in Arabic that sounded like the needles in the haystack Lisa just talked about. One said, quote, the match is about to begin. The other said, something big is coming tomorrow. Now, I, I guess those comments alone couldn't prevent the attacks, but were they handled correctly? Well, what those comments and the, the lack of interpretation of those comments indicates and points out is what we showed in our report, and that is that there was a significant lack of linguists and translators at the National Security Agency. In fact, those conversations weren't even analyzed until the day after September 11th. Isn't that correct? And that's correct because there simply weren't enough people to do it. The NSA was frankly not properly focused on terrorist activity like it should have been. But another problem was that they didn't have the resources to hire enough, hire enough translators and to hire enough linguists to get those translations done in real time. 
Now, that was a management decision as to where to commit resources. And, and, and again, while those two comments, the match is about to begin and something big is coming tomorrow, don't tell us that people right. are going to hijack airplanes and crash into buildings. If, if at least they had been analyzed, couldn't we have been on a heightened state of alert that could have prevented something? Well, what it would have done, it would have participated in the process of being one part of a plan. If we had had information concerning uh, uh, the training of pilots, for example, that came within, out in the Phoenix memo that was done out in Phoenix, Arizona by an FBI agent, if we had had information in the Masawi case, for example, all of this information simply should have been shared between agencies and within agencies, and it was not done, and that is a fundamental systemic problem that exists both at the FBI, the CIA, and now at National Security. Let me, Representative let me Harmon, add, though. well, yeah. let me just ask you, $30 billion a year, that's basically the budget for intelligence gathering in this country. Are Amer Americans getting their money, money's worth? Uh, well, before 9-11, as uh, our Chairman Porter Goss has pointed out, we didn't have an audience that was focused on how big a threat this was. But everyone was on high, its highest alert in the summer of 2001, uh, even before this uh, NSA intercept. Uh, the problem was, as Saxby just said, information sharing was inadequate, watch lists were inadequate. Uh, what we're focused on is making sure this money is well spent in the future. In fact, there will be more money to spend better by these agencies. They have to connect together. There has to be adequate language training. There has to be adequate re recruitment of human spies. There have to be new systems. NSA right. can't possibly hear every single thing that is said over every telephone and internet system in the world. Well, quickly, they have to know what to go after. Let me just ask you this. If changes have to be made in the intelligence, intelligence gathering system, what changes are you going to make in Congress in the oversight system? Well, the first thing we did was commit more resources to uh, our intelligence gathering agencies. But Jane's absolutely right. If we don't change the mindset within those agencies, it doesn't make any difference how much resources you commit to the problem, then it's not going to yeah. be solved. So what we've got to have is a combination of changes internally, and they're being made to their credit. Every agency is in the process mm -hmm. of making the changes that need to be made. Some are moving faster than others. But what we're doing in Congress is, number one, committing more resources, and we've got to do a better job of oversight. We're willing right. to share in the responsibility. And we may have to change the way Congress is organized in order to do a better job of, of, of overseeing homeland security. Right. Representative Saxby Chambliss, Representative Jane Harmon, thank you both very much. Thank you.